choking smell. Oh, you must be referring to our signature spicy chili scent. Spicy chili? But I... can't eat spicy food. Oh, what a pity. A person who can't eat spicy food misses out on half of life's joys. Is it really that bad? My meals have to have lots and lots of sugar, and the oil has to be extra virgin vegetable oil. Wow, we've got a real rich kid on our hands. Looks like Wanman Restaurant's dishes aren't a Tusser's taste. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Will that be all? Any more special requests? Uh, what do you mean, Chef Mal? <laughs> Giving the people what they want is the very reason Wanmin Restaurant exists. If I thought for one second that I couldn't make a dish to satisfy this child's taste, I would have absolutely no business calling myself a chef ever again. Whoa, there seems to be a lot of professional pride riding on this. Then we'll leave it to you, Chef Now. We'll be eating here after all. Sure. But let me say this first. Special requests are going to cost you more than normal. Of course, we aren't going to demand prices anywhere near as exorbitant as the likes of Lili Pavilion or Sunya Kiosk. Is it just Paimon? Or are premium customers in fashion lately? Still, <laughs> surely there must be a little room for negotiation, right? Hey now, come on. I can barely cover the cost of the ingredients at that price. Hmm, that seems a bit on the low side. You do realize these dishes... Ah, <laughs> oh, you folks. Uh, let's go with this then. Any more haggling and we'll ruin the other customers' appetites. <laughs> Thanks, Chef Mal. Please sit wherever you like. Your food will be here shortly. Are the waves here always like this? Don't they ever freeze? 
Uh, given Lewis climate, the area around the harbor's mouth probably never gets cold enough to freeze. Paimon is kind of the traveler's exclusive personal tour guide. But since this is a special occasion, Paimon can make an exception to help Tuser get to know the place. This place is Lila's commercial hub, and it's been the biggest port in the Seven Nations ever since it was decided that Lila would take on the world through trade. Other than merchant vessels, many fishing boats and industrial transports dock here to replenish their, uh, fishery supplies and daily necess necessities, which, thanks to the immense throughput capacity of the wharf, um... Ah, uh, yeah. Paimon can't remember how the rest goes anyway. Well, guess Paimon will just have to explain this Paimon style. So this harbor is like Tavat's mouth, and it's the biggest mouth you've ever seen. All the nations float their boats over the sea into the mouth. The harbor goes om nom 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 and has a taste of each boat and the cargo it has on board. Then, Lele Harbor rubs its big round belly in satisfaction because it's all stuffed full of delicious mora. Hey, what's that big metal hook over there? I want to see. Wait, Tuzer, don't run off. Uh, after all that, The metal hook is huge, and it gets bigger the closer we get! Docked ships use it to hold themselves in position to stop the wind and waves from blowing them away. Hmm, an anchor. Got it. But I think I might get it mixed up with Commodore Hook. Commodore Hook? Is this another one of your weird toy names? My brother always sends me a really big toy for my birthday. Commodore Hook, Black Steel Jack, Iron Tony. We keep them all in our backyard. Yeah, and that's why I can't bring them with me all the time. It's a shame. Wow, using Fatui funds for personal gain? To think Snezhnaya would let their harbingers do that. All for some giant toys. But suddenly, it doesn't seem so strange that Tusser would treat a ruin guard as a giant toy. But my favorite has to be Mr. Cyclops. Even though I mostly came here to see my brother, the other big thing I wanted to do was play with Mr. Cyclops. Oh, are they selling fish over there? Let's have a look. Hey! Quit running off! <sighs> Tell me. Will I find the right girl? Love life? Again? Tell me. Will I find the 
find the right girl. Fish? Wow, Fisher and Leo are so small. 